everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am sorry that I haven't had any videos in like last few while. Um, it's been a very busy time with Sword of Monsters and all that, so please check that out when it releases this November. And um, yeah, thank you for waiting and standing by, but I finally have a video to present to you. So I would like to, like, from my two cents of discussion, recently, well, since Haya came into the ring, a lot of people have been comparing monster arts and Haya in terms of monster figures and then also NECA. And I, I'd like to just form my own opinion to all this, so let's just get right into it. I'm gonna break this down to like categories like articulation, detail, um, stability, all that, price. Because, um, I have some points in here that some people might kind of disagree with, considering it's I'll, I'll just come on and say, like, I'm not entirely, like, Haya is great and all, but I don't exactly think that they're, like, perfect, like some people make them out to be, so. And, and someone's gonna be in there, like, oh, well, it's, it's only $50, you gotta, like, accept that. However, there's something that I believe the NECA does that the Haya just doesn't really do as well, but I'll get into that when, you know, get there. So let's start with, like, sculpting detail, so. I'll go into the 2021 Godzilla first. I'm going to bring up accuracy, like, when it comes to, like, detail and all that. That is cool and all, but considering the fact that a lot of people are going for accuracy, that should be, like, a discussion here. And here, the accuracy isn't bad. A lot of people try to, like, trash and say it's horrible. But no, I, I, I'd say it's pretty good. Considering the fact you have to accommodate for, like, articulation. So the point I'll get into with the high later on... But sometimes just taking the design and translating it to uh, a figure just does not work out that way. So obviously some changes have to be done, but you know, has have, have to maintain the essence of the character. I mean, detailing on the figure is really nice. And I'm just using the 2021 considering the 2019 is not available. This is like close to like the Monster Arts, Monster Race Godzilla closer you're probably gonna get. So yeah, and I have the high heat ray because that's the only high I have, so, you know. Um, yeah, detailing on it is absolutely amazing, I mean, details are really good. A lot of people like to say that the mold got worse, but I don't really think it did. I mean, maybe by like 2024, the night color edition, yeah, sure, it probably got pretty bad by then, but I mean, here, there's only like, what, the fourth usage of it? I mean, 4 sounds bad, but I mean, considering for some like mainline releases, that would probably only be the third, and even then, I'm not really sure about burning. Go with the poster color version, then actually the event version, so that would mean. Yeah, that'd be like fifth at the same time, though. Even for a fifth release, it's still not that bad. I mean, gotta take into effect that some of them are like really specific repaints, event exclusives, exclusives of Blu ray sets. I mean,. Take all that into, a f into fact, this could be, like, considered, like, the second main Godzilla. Because I mean, like, if you're gonna get, like, a main Godzilla, an atomic version, or, like, the main version would be, like, your best bets, or, like, a burning version. Which doesn't even look like the burning version of the character, just like the Hot Cheeto. And I'm gonna be real, the NECA and Haya versions aren't that better. <laughs> I think, like, X Plus and the movie Monsters here are the only one that, only one that got the burning color scheme right, which is really disappointing, because it's, like, it's not too hard just make it, like, an orange and black tri brush and it's just how it looks to me but you know some people gotta throw in like all the hot cheeto dust but <laughs> hopefully one day we'll get like a really accurate figure of it but i mean moving on to paint though the paint is all right on the chest here it's good you can use some more dry brushing here but i mean just to make this more accentuated it does it is nice it is very nice but um yeah here the paint isn't too bad it's not, like, very, like, far from, like, how it looks in the film when it comes to, like, how he, like, charges up, although it's a, it's a wrong pattern. In, in the film, you know, it's got, like, the sort of, like, lines, but here it's kind of, like, a mesh. So it's, like, it's close, but it just doesn't quite nail it. And then here, you know, it's atrocious. And it's, like, a lot of people want to, like, crap on a 2024, but, like... Just for the mouth actually being, like, painted, it, it, it beats this one already. I feel like what makes this worse, though, is the color they used. 
if you make this more like a 2024 kind of balloon and do this, it actually would probably look pretty nice. This looks pretty bad. Although the camera doesn't really capture the same tint of blue, so it's it's a lot more like a greenish tint, which you know, I like you know, the head's a bit wonky. Which I, which I do get. Like the complaints about the head. However, I mean like this is my thumb compared to the head. It's it's a tiny little head, so I mean I'm not exactly gonna notice all these details like too much. And I mean like I got good vision, I think. <laughs> Although like the eyes, I don't really like them. Like, I don't know, it's like I'm not sure you really can do much better because I mean like to get the eye the like, dot, you have to like you probably have to have like a microscopic needle or something to like get the pupil in, but like I don't know. It's just yeah. I don't know. Actually, I think about it, they should not have painted this, like, the metallic blue color. It looks awkward. Same for the teeth as well, like, did he get, like... Yeah, it's like... It's kind of weird, but, you know. Moving on to the NECA, though. Right here. Oh boy. Sculpt, not very accurate. And it's not for the reason you think, because I think the spines are pretty much fine, it's just the body proportions are not very really close at all. I think it was pointed out by someone on Twitter that the neck, or was it Toe Kingdom, I'm not sure. It was one of the two though, but um, the body proportions of the neck here are actually more so the 2014 Godzilla. It's like the legs and then, you know, the feet are not very accurate. I mean, the tail is actually a bit longer than the 2019, it's close to 2014 as well, so I mean... And, you know, neck and head. So it is closer towards the 2014 Godzilla, just with the King of the Monster spines and all that. But other than that, take an accuracy aside, sculpting is pretty impressive. Although, um, you have to paint, though. Paint is actually much more accurate than, like, the monster arts. And it, not, not the Hyatt, though, when it comes to, like, how Godzilla looked and uh, King of the Monsters and GBK. Actually, I think this this one's more GBK though, considering it's more of the greens. King of the Monsters is a lot more like tan, I believe, which is funny because like made for a different movie, but looks closer to a different movie than the one it was made for. But you know, classic NECA. I mean, paint on here is good, and it's not like a bad paint until you get up to here. Like like people give like. Like, take your slack and on second. It's, like, it's like, I get that this is like only like $25, but still, it's like. Yeah. I mean, like, could it really have been that bad? Has it have like a little bit better paint quality? Like. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't really want to. Go too much because I don't really have all that much to say. Dry brushing on this figure is absolutely amazing. Although I think, yeah, you can kind of see it here. It's like when you move like some of the joints, like the paint just kind of stops. It's just really stupid. Kind of just ruins. Part of, I wouldn't say ruins the figure though. I, that's an exaggeration. Because I mean, like you, you can kind of notice, you kind of can, but considering, considering it's kind of like a wash over, it does blend in decently well. So you're not gonna, like, gonna like have the figure ruin for you. I'm sorry, I'm a little, a little tired. Now the higher though. Sculpt, I'd say, is 90% accurate. I really wouldn't say there's anything I'm seeing that's too inaccurate. And I'm judging just on, like, the Heat Ray version alone. The other versions, I think, are pretty much better at this. But the coloring on the spines, I just don't like it. I mean, like, is it accurate? I guess, but I don't know. It's just, I don't, I think it's a bit too dark. The translucent version does fix this, though, but, like, I don't know, when I think of, like, Godzilla's, like, spines lighting up, I think more so that, like, you know, kind of a little bit similar to this, but at least a little bit brighter. It, 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 not, like, here, but, like, more so, like, here. I don't know, it just doesn't feel, like, all too right. I mean, here, it, it just feels like they kind of just put chalk all over it, if anything. So, so it doesn't really, like, look to me as much, like, doesn't really resonate, like, the Heat Ray version to me. It's just more so just, like, I guess, blue paint. It just doesn't, this just does not represent Heat Ray to me. I get, you know, represent trying to, like, do, like, the light and all, but I don't know. 
but it's like, I really don't like mind this as much considering the translucent versions, um, more readily available, um, and, you know, a much better figure, and, you know, has a bunch of improvements over it, so it's like, good. So, yeah, this isn't a review of this figure, though, but, like, yeah, I, I'd 100% just go for the translucent version over this one, though, so, yeah, yeah, but, I mean, I think that's kind of off, though, it's just, this area here just doesn't feel painted all that right. I mean, like, yeah, and, and it's, it's like, did they put the black, yeah, did they put the blue over it, or did they put the blue in, in like, the gray, or did they, like, not wait for the gray to dry or something? I don't know. But, yeah, when it comes to, like, the sculpt, though, I'll, I'll get back into that, um... Amazing. It's 100% it, it's like the best like Monster vs. Godzilla sculpt you'll find. Aside from uh, Evolve Monster Arts, but you know, the high of they're gonna kill me for that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, like the sculpt, I mean, like the details are amazing on this guy. I mean, like some of like the best detail work I've seen on a figure in a like, long time, so obviously you gotta praise that. But, that pretty much is it for, like, paint and detail. Um, let's just do articulation first. Up first is the monster arts. Ball joint here. There's, like, a double ball joint with, like, a little neck cover. You know, ball joint, the jaw here. And then here, you can kind of get some nice range of movement. Yeah. Nice range of movement. Yeah, movement. Yeah. Move his head fully up, but we kind of have to. Like, I'll get that. Get into that in a second. Kind of have to contort some of the body a bit, and I'll get into this in a second too. So yeah. Um, and then you know, up here, right around like the elbows, he has like his first little joint, and there's like a little one here. I'm not exactly sure what this one does, but yeah, here you just can bend down. You can kind of get him into. The crouch pose, although I will say, I kind of wish it, um, had a bit better range that I could kind of, you know, get into, like, a hollow roof drilling pose, like this, although maybe the leg, but at the same time, in the movie, the legs are more like this, and just kind of, like, crouched over, but, like, someone you're Godzilla, so he moves, like, in areas he probably should not. <laughs> I don't think I kind of, I kind of like that, but, you know. Good luck making that in a figure. But yeah, here, um, I forgot the point of that I'm not sculpt in detail, but this arm looks popped out, and it's like there's really nothing you can kind of do to fix that, so that's like a point against this. Um, yeah, you got like a, you got a ball joint here. Got some good range there. You got like a double ball joint, I think, here. That can kind of allow you to get some good range out of this. And you got a, like a ball joint here, but you know, this hand likes to pop off. It works fine if it's, like, the default hand for me, which is kind of stupid, considering this is, like, the accessory this figure came with. Which is, you know, I wish Hyatt would do that, but, you know. But yeah, there's, like, a ball joint there, and it kind of, like, move, like, on the other hand, but I don't want to take them off, because, you know, it sucks. You got, like, a ball joint here, you can kind of go out like this. You know, double ball joint at the knee, you got, like, joints here. My copy is a little tight, my 2019 does this just fine, but, you know, you can kind of, like, move the foot like this a bit. Right here, you got, like, some, got a system of ball joints here at the tail. It's a little bit creepy, cre which makes me, like, fear that I'm gonna, like, snap something, which, you know, it's not very fun. I'm gonna figure that's, um, out of... Out of stock most places and was originally like 70 bucks, so good luck. Hey, like, Kimmy in. It's kind of creaky though, which is not really great. But yeah, it's like the 2024 version has much better movement. Like, I mean, like, right here, can this joint can probably go up to like here, I think. It has like some, it has some great range. Although it's still popped off a bit, just, you know, like here. Although something with the tail that I really like is that, like, you can, you can actually get into, like, a pretty cool little, like, curve pose, like, right here, yeah. Which I didn't know you'd actually be able to do. Like, you have some good range here, and just, that, that, that's it. It's, like, you have, like, 
It has like amazing engineering sometimes, but sometimes it's held back a lot, which is just a shame. For the NECA though, I'm gonna start with the tail because I'm gonna segue this into. Actually, no, I'll segue it into. I'll leave it with the high. I'm sorry. So it's kind of, you know. You get a ball joint here, you got a hinge at the jaw, and then you got like. Right here at the neck. Here, you got like a. Ball joint at the at the waist. Ball joints here, and you can get some pretty nice like range going up. You got you know hinge at the elbow, hinge at the wrists, and swivel. Move down to here. You got like I'm not sure if it's like a ball joint or whatever, but it, it sucks. But like here. You can do this, and I'll get to like how the Hyatt works, which I means you should know by now, but I'll get to that still. It, it just looks really awkward moving the legs, and often, with how like the NECA figures are, just has this sticking out all the time, just such a pain to deal with. So yeah. Then here though, even worse, you cannot bend the knee. You know where you can bend it though? Inwards. So now, instead of actually bending guys a little so we can like make a, a step or anything, he just kicks his foot forward and, and, and breaks his knee. Which, you know, guys will love doing that, remember? You got a ball joint at the foot, which has some pretty good range for the foot, although it could be a bit better. You know, if, if this part was kind of actually a bit sculpted. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's like I would say that like maybe it would get in the way or something, but no. You see what Tamashi did? Yeah. And then you see what NECA did? They just limited their own range for nothing. But yeah. Moving on to the tail, though. You get in some nice poses here. They like. Yeah, it like. Gets out of the pose a bit, but you can still kind of. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not good. I have to plug that in, because that, that's actually not even. Yeah, that's not how it came out. And, uh, when I got out of its box like four years ago. <sighs> so, yeah, that's, that's not good. Moving on to the high of the with the tail. About to here, which really isn't that much. But what you can do is it won't it won't like pop off like this, which is great. Yeah, it, it's just it's a bit like stiff though sometimes. And this joint right here does not like being stationary, which is kinda that kinda sucks. But yeah, let's just move on to the rest. Up here you got ball joint at the head, actually you got like one barbell joint here and then you know. Got jaw hinge with a little bit of tongue articulation, which is really cool. Which you know, this one should be having, but it won't move. But yeah, and you got like a ball joint, like a barbell joint here and here, which allows for movement here. But uh, plenty of people have been like doing like a different system where like they have like a ball joint going to like another socket and then going into the neck, which like allows a lot more range, but you know. So I can pop the head off. Oh, okay. Um, it's just this. So basically it's like this is like your range for the neck. Which is it's really sucky, I'm gonna be honest. So, geez, almost 20 minutes already. It's kind of sucky, but you know. I mean, you don't really have to worry about gaps now. Which sometimes you can kind of get into some nice poses, but. Yeah. Okay, so. Ball joint at the elbows. Shoulders. Shoulders, okay. And hinge at, yeah, hinge at the elbows and like a ball joint here at the wrists. You have a ball joint here, I'm pretty sure, but this one is uh, kind of sideways. 
No, it's not. That was a 2014 and a half. Like sideways. But yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's put spoiler alert. Yeah, bald one here. It looks really stiff and kind of like you know. It doesn't it doesn't really like let you have much range, which you know it's a shame. Here we get like a ball joint, and you know like the monster art. It depends on, but this time, instead of like going like a bit too far and having like a huge gap and kind of like colliding with the other joints, it, it goes out only this way and still looks pretty good. So it's like I think this is actually pretty nice. Here though, the knees, instead of like the mecha, you can bend them back. So it's not really like the greatest range ever. But I mean, it, it gets the job done, so I really can't complain. Here, you got like the ball joint at the foot. But yeah. Articulation wise though, um, probably, I'd say it probably goes to the monster rights though. I, I don't know, it's like, oop. that's a shame. It, it, it's like, I'd say like, NECA would be last, but I don't, I think the monster, it's just, it's better with articulation, but when it comes to guys evolve though, I'm just gonna, this is just like a little short point. The high doesn't seem like the most improved, but it at least seems like a little better. I mean, given it's going to likely be about the same size, but you know, a bit thinner, that should help with like a lot of stuff like the, chest joint and like the legs being a lot like better because I mean then it's not like you have like a bunch of weight going around and the elbows are actually gonna have a brand new uh, system I think it's gonna be very similar to like how monster it says it which should be cool although I wish they came with hand accessories because you know I'm tired of just like the it's kind of boring but yeah um stability monster arts um that says all you need to know. <laughs> With the NECA, come, comes apart in some areas, but just doesn't look all that great. Um, the Haya. Absolutely amazing. I, I don't really think that, uh... Do not really think that it really, like, is horrible in any way. But, yeah. At the same time, um... I really don't think I have much else to say on this, so, yeah. I'd say the high would be best for stability. Um, this one's alright, but even with, like, the popping off, Monster it still can have, like, much, like, better pose than still, like, the well said, because you go into here and you do this, and, you know, try to get a good, good pose and doesn't, like, want to stay. Go to here, try to get like a good pose, and it doesn't want to stay, or you know, like this one joint that does not want to stay. But I mean, you go here, you get like joints like this, and you go as far as you can, and doesn't really move much. Go here, doesn't really move much. Here, doesn't really move much. So, I'd say the monster arts might actually just be the best when it comes to stability. Um, price though. The NECA is going to be a lot higher priced, about, like, upwards of 50 now, so, I mean, I'd say the higher would, would beat it. However, you can't really get these, like, right now. Pre-orders, yes. Some variants, yes. Like, specific figures, no. Um, the King of the Monsters version you can find on pre-order on some sites, you know, despite releasing, like, Almost a year ago, but okay. Um, you can find like a translucent version in, for, in stock, but that's it. Pre evolve, can't find. Um, Burning Godzilla out of stock, although it was in stock for quite a while. Um, the GBK version, never seen it in stock before, except uh, like for a day on the Big Bad Toy Store. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So, good luck finding a bunch of these. Godzilla, though, 2021 was in stock for quite a while. A couple sites might actually just have it, although I wouldn't really, you know, go for them. Considering that 2024 is available. But, 2024. 
I mean, 2024, 2021, I'd say about like 70, 75, so that puts it on like the high end. And let's go with a high, let's say you can't find any of the variants in stock because maybe they're all sold out because like they're, they pretty much are. So you have to go with like, have to go with a secondhand seller. And you know what your options are? Your options usually range from 100 to $250. You see what I'm getting at? There's two things here. There's one on the consumer side and there's one on the company side. Company side, Haya needs to get a better job with distribution because either you got scalpers buying these in mass just to resell like double the price, or they are sending like maybe, I don't know, five copies? I don't know. Like, like, like not enough. Because, like, I've never seen any of these in stores aside from, like, one at an FYE for, like, $70, which, you know, is already a bit overpriced for a scroll crawler. Like, I'm not paying that much for it. Um, besides that, I mean, like, some comic shops, but other than that, you never really see these figures anywhere else. So it's like, who's getting these? Because, like, if you see posts on social media, usually you see either, like, one or two high Godzillas. Or a monster art, or maybe a NECA. But you don't really see like a bunch of like the other monsters usually. And and if you do, it's usually like the either like the bigger accounts, like one or two people. It's like 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 why where are these figures at? Like how many do they make? Because they clearly do not make enough. SH monster arts are limited quantities. You can find them in stock up to months later, up to even two years later. Even though they are like small quantities they make, because once they're gone, usually they're gone. But, you know, you still find them. But but how many do they make of Haya? So, basically, you, you go with, like, retail price, this one wins. You go with aftermarket price, this one ends up winning. So, um, scale and size, though, um, for what you get, this one's a bit better. I'm, I'm leaving you out of the discussion. You're, you're like, wah, wah, go home. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, this one's about the size of the monsters anyway, so, I mean, like, mood point. Um, but Monster Arts goes better with, like, the 6 and stuff. This goes well with pretty much everything, although it is pretty big. So that's, like, the main issue with it. So it's, like... Like, what, like, really matters? Like, do you, do you care about scale that much? It, does it have to be exact? But if it's exact, I don't know if you're really gonna find any, like, happiness in this collection. So, in, like, collecting, so, I mean, won't want, but... I mean, I'd say... Just for like the stature alone, you kind of think of like the monsters because it was like kind of like, like big and overwhelming. So I mean, Haya works better for that. But at the same time, like overall, I don't know because like it depends. Do you want accuracy or do you want range? Because remember, you're buying an action figure. If you were going to buy a statue, you have plenty of other options. You want something with some good art, good articulation. So I'd say if you want that. Go for this one, 100%. Actually, no, no, 80%. Because, you know, although some copies might not be too bad with that. That's just the thing. So, and it comes off again. Wow. So, yeah, um, honestly, it's very much just up to you. But overall, my honest pick, I'd probably go with the Monster Arts. But. I'm going to be the stupid one and say I'd actually go with both, but whatever. Okay, higher ones for that. <laughs> but just in conclusion, um, um, yeah. Just wanted to say, um, when it comes to like the higher though, it, it is not perfect. Do not let anyone claim that it's perfect. Do not let anyone claim that it is like, um, you know, like some... Like, superior to the monster. It's like, monster, it's like bandits. I'm crying because of the high. Like, no, they are not. No, they are not. Because yeah, this, this still sells well. On BBTS, the 2024 Godzilla, the first batch, is completely sold out. And I keep seeing the, uh, in the Amazon, like, batch of them were supposed to arrive this month, and they got delayed the next month, it looks like, so. Clearly, something seems to be going right with them, so do not worry. I mean, well, too, too bad in themselves, do not worry. 
Fuck these guys, come. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to Evolve Godzilla, though, I, I, I think Monster Earth is probably better. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here, because it's like half an hour. I'm, I do not want to, like, edit this video at all, because that's too, too long and too much space on my, uh, on my files, so. Thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing day.